Hello everyone and welcome to The Icon. Before we begin, a very, very happy new year and an amazing new decade to all of you. And finally, here we are in 2020. The holiday season's just uh, got over and uh, there's a lot of new promises for the new year and decade, along with lots of goals and hopes to uh, lose all that holiday weight that we've yeah, gained. Exactly. And we have the perfect people here with us today uh, to discuss about weight loss and uh, yummy food as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we have uh, from Fitness Tadka, Abhi and Kanika. Welcome Thank to you. our show. Thank you, Shama. Thanks, Shama. Really happy New Year to you as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Fitness Tadka, uh, the name the name sure is very interesting. What is this Fitness Tadka all about? So basically, um, Fitness Tadka, as the name suggests, uh, means uh, fitness. So it's got a fitness component to it. And also, Tadka means that you can still enjoy the taste, the flavor. Mm. So um, the idea is to um, represent our own Indian food, but mm -hmm. in a very healthy way, mm -hmm. um, in a proportion way, so that it helps you uh, with the daily weight loss if you're looking for something, or just to keep a healthy regime with the food. Mm. Interesting. So uh, what's what's the whole idea behind it, and how did you come up with this uh, interesting concept? Um, I think the whole idea came once I met him. I mm -hmm. was trying to lose weight after mm -hmm. my second one mm -hmm. and he was trying to lose weight as well because he's he plays cricket as well and he wanted to be fit. I wanted to be fit mm -hmm. for my daughter's first birthday. Uh -huh. um, so I was looking into uh, different you know diet to lose weight mm -hmm. but the flavor if I get food from outside you know the taste buds won't mm -hmm. meet my taste buds. Uh, I mean my flavor. So when he told me he's a chef so i gave him some few recipes mm -hmm. to try it on mm -hmm. and he was he's he's a chef so he loves cooking um so he tried those recipes and they were delicious mm -hmm. and we tried on ourselves you know some more uh, we gave ourselves around three four weeks mm -hmm. to see how we can do according to that diet right and i started studying mm -hmm. regarding that so the concept came so i said you know we, we we are doing it for us how about we go and do it for others as well mm -hmm. if we can benefit with this diet mm -hmm. we can help others as well and because with Indians mm -hmm. um, we need good flavor mm -hmm. in our food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we tried on a couple of our friends and yeah. they were losing weight mm -hmm. and that's how just the idea came up Exciting. So, uh, Fitness Circle is all about calorie-centric, uh, yes, calorie-focused. Yes, yes. Calorie-controlled, yes. Uh, diet. Okay. Yeah. So, Fitness Circle is all about uh, calorie-centric, calorie-focused, yes. uh, special specific packaging for yes. each person. Yes. That's correct, yes. Interesting. And the best thing about it is it's yummy Indian food. That's it. Definitely, That's definitely. It. He looks into it as well. Um, I mean, I... He tasted and he tells, okay, we need a little bit of salt here or a little bit of masala here. Mm -hmm. And the masala, especially, he, he makes sure it is done in our kitchen. Ooh. So it's nothing coming from outside. So all the spices are done in house. So okay, so you, you get the everything. whole spices in yeah, yeah, the grinding. And then we just grinding, prepare yeah. it accordingly, like a garam masala. We know exactly how we have to do it. Because again, you know, you get it from outside, you know, those boxes mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't know if they're healthy mm -hmm. enough or not. So we just do it our own yeah. you know masalas in the kitchen and mm. and plus they are healthy plus they got the taste they're fresh and 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 that's the whole idea of making it flavorful it amuses me actually because india is such a vibrant land and there's so many different cuisines yes. Yes. and the two of you are from punjab yes. and <laughs> I can't think about anything other than, you know, aloo parathas and <laughs> all the yummy uh, paneer parathas yes. and dal makhani. Yes. But how do you relate all this and healthy food? Um, Look, what, what we basically try to educate people mm. is that um, you don't need to starve yourself. You mm. don't need to go on a, a, a different sort of diet where you are having bland food. Uh, non-flavor food you can still enjoy and you can still keep it healthy the whole idea is to you need to Portion consume control. Portion you need control. to consume yeah. what you need to sustain mm -hmm. so you only take that much energy which you are burning so that's mm -hmm. the concept we work on and um, and you know, so are you telling me that it's all right to have a, a paratha a yes, for breakfast and still we, be all right with it we do parathas <laughs> as well uh -huh. um, 
in uh, for the breakfast i think we we have variety of range in breakfast as well we have kobi pranta we have carrot pranta we have mixed pranta mm. and then the only thing we do is even with the flour I'm hungry we already. make <laughs> we make sure we mix the flours like it's just not the wheat ah. we do it soya we do ragi we do you know bajre ka aata as well so barley and so we do mm. all this mix mix them up and make it And much more healthier. healthier. Yeah. And then we do like healthy parantas as well. We've got avocado parantha. Yeah. Mm. We do a beetroot parantha. So and you can still enjoy the parantha mm. side of the things. Chilas, then, even with the chila, we make wow. besan ka chila, and we we put veggies into it just so that it is filling. It's right, just because right. it's very light. Mm. You get hungry quicker. So we to make it more filling. Mm. We just add vegetables into it. Ah. Beetroot chila. Yeah. We did a couple right. of uh, weeks before, and then. We just social push. It's like a mo- the mineral beef. boost, mineral and vitamin boost along with yes. the yummy. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Mm. That's the whole idea. You know, like people should not be uh, feeling that they are on a, 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 you know, a certain different style of diet to what they normally eat. Right. The whole idea is that they can just open it up every day and they'll be and like, feel um, like it's home cooked meal. Yes. That's it. Mm. Yes. That's it. So we yeah. are. We, we, it is basically the portion control. You can mm. eat, but you know, enjoy your. Of meals as well and to weight loss as well. Mm-hmm. As we say, like eighty percent is your diet, twenty percent is your exercise. So mm-hmm. you need to go and you know burn that as well. Go out, have some little bit of walk. Do you allow day. cheat days? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. So, uh, what our meals are mostly from Monday to Friday. Right. So we keep it Monday to Friday because um, a lot of our clients uh, they you know spend time with the family on the weekends and stuff. So. you know a couple of meals here and there on a weekend you can still have as a cheat meal but then what we have noticed so far and and with our clients is that once they get to something like this they get so much guilty conscious that they'll be like no i just still want to have healthy on the weekend like they ask us the recipes yeah. please suggest us something which we can cook or which we can do so we have started off with the weekend uh, mm. meals now as well mm. so we cater for weekend meals too so if people are uh interested in that so it's just it's just your brain getting channelized to it and and then once you have done it you know you you'll be you won't want to go back it's just so your commitment if you commit commitment, to it yeah. you will definitely see the results hmm. that's what we tell everyone that you know how religiously you are doing it it all depends on you we don't force anyone we don't push anyone that you know just have our meals and don't have anything else and and just have this it's just depends on you you know um how you are taking it and how serious you are about it like we had one one of our client when he initially started with us um he went to a doctor and he was diagnosed with um, mm. um with something related to the heart and he said that if he gets a heart attack he's got 2% survival of mm. chances of survival of chances survival. of survival from mm. there and he thought about his family his kids and and straight away Change he called life. us and he said that guys i want to be with you I'm going into training, you know, fitness and stuff, and I want to lose weight. In about seven months, I think he lost about twenty-five kgs of weight. Oh wow! And and he's he's happy. He's got more energy. He can spend time with the kids. Hmm. His whole perspective about his life, about his future, about his family, kids, everything has changed. So it's just a matter of that trigger, that spark, and we try Definitely. to provide that. And know? now, mm-hmm. like he he comes on and off with us as well, but. Uh, like we we give protein balls um mm-hmm. you know people who want to snack in between so mm-hmm. instead of going out and spending money for a snack we give protein balls or salads mm-hmm. for a snack as well so he gets protein balls from us and you know just if he's hungry just get that as well mm-hmm. just an extra a uh, protein mm-hmm. in his body interesting so uh, uh, i understand that indian indian dieting and indian diet varies so much uh, throughout yes. the country and uh, <coughs> when it comes to an indian diet there are so many dietary concerns and mm-hmm. dietary restrictions yes. that um, you know people from that ethnic background follow yes. uh, so there's vegetarianism on one side there is egetarianism on the yes. other yes. side yes. there's also uh, you know a sector that doesn't you know eat tuber crops so yes. yeah yes. jain community yes. so yes. Uh, what do you do about all that how do you we cater every um, everyone mm-hmm. and everyone's requirement mm-hmm. when we ask them for their dietary requirements they can tell us 
and let us know oh, these are our requirements mm. they, as you said they're people who can eat egg but rest they're vegetarian mm. so we do that as well um, we do cater jams as well mm-hmm. so no garlic no onion no um, turmeric as well mm-hmm. so we do cater even the vegan diet as well we've done, we had so we, we've done vegans as well so mm-hmm. I think it's it's that's the that's the beauty of our concept like it's a one-on-one you know we are giving um, concern to everyone so you know rather than uh, everyone's got their our numbers everyone's got their email addresses and stuff and, and and it's easy you know they can just call us and let us know and and we work very closely with everyone as well so once a fortnight or once we, a week we, do call we them definitely and call them and going. say that look how is it going you know how was last week's meals if you need any change if anything particular you didn't like and 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 from there, you know, if we have to even alter the menu for them, we will do it just to make sure. Because that we have some clients who are very fussy. Uh, they don't want to eat particular things. So like, you know, say, for example, eggplant. Mm. Um, I personally love it. Mm. It's not necessarily that, that say third person will like it. Mm. So if they don't want that in the, in the menu, mm. we can change it for them. So we, we cater it. Um, we try to accommodate wherever we can. So that's mm. the whole idea of, you know, of fitness tarka that we will be working very closely yeah with. they're very picky with vegetarian exactly. vegetables as well exactly mm. like we do quinoa salad as well uh, ah. some people have this you know they can they like salads mm. and some people won't like it at all mm. so we can change it if they say okay just give us you know cucumber or um, chickpea salad we can do that as well yeah. for them Ah, so specific requirements yeah. are looked after so as long as we've got the whole information and and what they're looking for we do make sure that yeah. we work it out mm. accordingly all right based on what you what you were saying about food and um, butter the temptations there's so many food substitutes out there like there's there's a substitute for butter there's uh, always a substitute for so many mm-hmm. food uh, but then the, most of these substitutes are highly processed food yes. uh, what is your thought on this I feel the same as well. I think natural products are better. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if we go to India, we see, you know, the uh, white butter Mm. is still healthier than the yellow butter Hmm. because it's easy to digest as well. But isn't there a concept of white butter and yellow butter being uh, compared to, you know, grass fed uh, cattle and... uh, Yes, that has been as well. This is what I've learned here. Mm. Uh, when I was in India, you know, we mum is giving you food, you won't even realize about eat these what things. What color butter? <laughs> yeah, and you know, you're happy with your home butter. You mm. know, what mum made freshly, she'll just grind it and she'll give it to us. Yeah. I was happy at eating that. Once mm. I came here, I, I've i learned how many uh, varieties of varieties butter, butter so. they are and then how processed they are. Right. Yeah. And which is healthy and not uh, healthy as well. The, the whole concept is that anything which is natural, which we try to give, to everyone mm-hmm. it is easily um, uh, digested by the body easily consumable mm-hmm. when you give something which is processed and has got preservatives in there obviously it's it's a bit complex Complicate, and mm-hmm. it's going to take time to break mm-hmm. and and that's that's what we try to educate people on is that consume something which is easily breakable and you can burn that energy whatever you're working or working out or you know even your daily routine hmm. anything processed it's going to take time to break it's going to be more complex and and obviously you know if you're not it's working not out for your gut, rightly not for your it, heart uh, luckily most most indian uh, food doesn't come into the you know highly processed variety yes, I, yes. unless it's our curries where we you know we we do a magic with our curries yes. but then uh, we avoid pastas and noodles which yes. is highly processed again exactly uh, I've seen this trend where you know people want to get into vegetarianism and there's a lot of uh, mm. consumption of soy products and yes. soy based meat products yes. Yes. Uh, what tofu do you think about to- stuff, yeah, right. uh, tofu uh, I think is still much healthier it's because very very healthy, yeah. it's yes. very healthy. Um, but what do you think about these soy products that are you know uh, highly processed to imitate or uh, you know be made similar to meat which are processed which anything which is uh, highly processed and isn't pre- preservative like lasts longer mm. they're not not healthy for us. Hmm. Uh, I think, as Abhi said, it should be easy to break. Hmm. Um, though, stick to your like you know plant based. Most of most of the people, uh, some of clients want plants plant based diet. So the patties we make, mm-hmm. they are all natural, right? Plant based. Hmm. Um, we'll have you know uh, spinach or we'll have uh, methi and you know we'll enjoy with these. Do you, you know, have a variation of patties which is like a protein based yes. patty? Yes, yes. like he. Uh, um, yeah. Abhi, for people who are into fish, he makes tuna patties. So we've got uh, tuna patties, uh, um, we've got chicken patties. 
and then um, he makes with the for vegetarians we've got lentil patties nutri mm-hmm. uh, ch- with nutri chunks he makes patties with them mm-hmm. and yeah. then um, he makes you know plant based like uh, with uh, chickpeas um, and spinach mm. and you know all kind of green vegetables zucchini uh, we made broccoli with broccoli fritters as well so these things you know is we try to focus more on plant based mm-hmm. because we think mm-hmm. that's much more Uh, to easy nature. to break, and it is more, much more closer to nature. We still it's healthy. That is what the concept. We would still use tofu and soy products. We we still use them, but mm-hmm. but that is done to a minimum level. That because obviously they have got some sort of energy, some sort of uh, proteins for people who are not people on who are vegan, meat based diet at the moment. Need, mm-hmm. So they need that sort of energy for their body as well, and tofu does provide that. So we would we would use that as well, but the main focus is on the plant based diet. Hmm. Um, I've heard from um, various celebrity chefs uh, mm-hmm. about, um, uh, rather than chefs, I'd rather say um, uh, celebrity dietitians and yes. um, fitness planners that uh, to eat local. Mm. And there's a lot of emphasis on eating yes. local. Now, we come from a land uh, and then we have settled down in another land and this is our home now. And what 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 we get around here in Australia is local for us. Yes. yes. Uh, sometimes it's not very Indian. Sometimes it can be Indian. Mm-hmm. Uh, that brings me to quinoa. Yeah. Uh, quinoa is something that, um, as Indians, we're probably not used to. But yeah. uh, it's a big time uh, thing. You know, it's uh, it's, very it's the star right yeah. now in terms yes. of healthy eating. Yes. Uh, tell us about this quinoa diet. And I've seen people substitute their rice with quinoa. Uh, you will get. Uh, like people do, if we, if you can have that flavor of quinoa, it is good. It's mm-hmm. healthy because it's a protein. Mm-hmm. Again, um, and people who doesn't want to eat at carbs at all mm-hmm. have done with cauliflower rice. So right. we, we use cauliflower rice as a mm-hmm. substitute who have not got the taste buds for quinoa. Mm-hmm. So we use cauliflower rice. So we do it like, you know, we cook pulao, which huh. we, you know, um, or biryani. We cook it like that. Mm-hmm. So it just gives you that taste as well. Mm-hmm. And people who are happy to have quinoa, we can do quinoa. We do quinoa as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do quinoa salads, mm-hmm. preferably, uh, mostly so that the protein, the fiber is also going with, uh, right. with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, it's every individual is different. Mm-hmm. Their taste buds are different. Uh, we have some people who can eat whatever they want to eat and which whichever diet they want to eat we never had issues with whether brown rice white rice or quinoa or the ca- uh, cauliflower rice and there are people who just want to stick to their basic that roots. is very exciting because yes. i've seen very fussy eaters who refuse to eat brown rice yeah. <laughs> and we get, we get people who said okay if you want to just re- replace you know instead of having um uh, you know white rice just give us um uh, Brown rice. So, They so, have to have it. So just to like when we initially started, um, we we I also had the same idea that brown rice is not much very popular among our people. So what we do, we try to just make it a little bit more, you know, um, exciting. We just cook it with stock, or we just cook uh, it just to give it a flavor. Flavor. So we just cook it with stock, or we'll just you know use something which will just spice it up a little bit. So people. Once they are used to it and 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 they just don't want to you know go back to a normal rice you know mm-hmm. so that's it's just a matter of getting your body used to it that's what we educate everyone. We this is fitness tadka so we put some flavor into the brown rice as yeah, well. Yeah, we can't avoid put, the tadka for no. sure. We, we can use some cumin seeds to add it or you know. Uh, um, Cl- uh, Clo was uh, he he does mix up with things like that. It's just it's just trying new things, and that's the beauty of our Indian food, which we try to educate everyone as well. That you know, it's as healthy as any other meal, any other food in the world. You know, like mm-hmm. people probably have got this misconception outside that Indian food because it's got spices, it's got cream, butter, and you know all these can be very unhealthy. Can be very well. unhealthy, but it is it's as healthy yeah. as any other food in the world. It just has to be done in a very proper way so um and it also needs to be all portion control like we give an example to most of our clients like for example you know rajma rice this is very popular among most of the indians you have one plate of it mm. it is very healthy because right. it's a rich source of protein kidney right. beans itself yes mm. but then if you're going to have three plates of it mm. then obviously you've it's gone not going to be above your you've calorie gone above count. your calorie count so that's where we come in and we give them exactly the box which has got the food which is required hmm. to sustain what they are doing during the day and that's hmm. where we jump in and and many of our clients you know once even if they are with us or if they are not with us you know i'm i'm happy and i'm proud that in future they are 
they know that what they have to eat and what is their portion hmm. so that gives yeah, them an idea that this is exactly what i need to we measure healthy. like when we measure their calorie count and we measure their meals and we uh, put them in the box um they have they know this is what exactly they have to eat hmm. and once they follow that diet they will see that their life is changing what mm-hmm. you feed your body you will they, they, you can show it Mm. you less mm-hmm. bloating more energy mm-hmm. you know if you're working out you'll feel like going out and working out more because obviously you've got energy in your body which you want to burn and you'll be more active and people have already come up to us and said that look i feel i feel you know more energetic i yeah. feel i feel like you know going out i feel like going for a walk i feel like going to the gym there were people who have signed up for the gym and never entered the gym absolutely absolutely <laughs> that uh, you know being a yoga therapist i uh, i follow a diet which is you know more natural and yes. you know yes. i try yes. to stick on to raw diet at times so yeah. um many people uh, in india don't really enjoy salads as much no, as uh, the western counterparts not do not very popular yeah. Yeah. i think uh, fiber is important for the body to digest you know mm-hmm. uh, whatever you are eating it helps you to digest as well mm-hmm. water is important um like i try to you know carry a, a 2 liter bottle with me so that i know i have drank that much mm-hmm. um but we need to like with the indian uh, community now they are getting Uh, they are getting being aware of things of the salads salads how well. important the fiber mm-hmm. is how important having water is and mm-hmm. how much control they have to do with that, their salt that brings me to this question like sometimes um don't you think these are basic things like this is just just a question basic things that every human being should know you know out of instinct yes. how much water should i drink yes. do you think uh you know the modern world is making man dumber and dumber mm-hmm. <laughs> i think we are too much um occupied um in our lives that's what uh, that's what i feel like people want to do it mm-hmm. like people are out there who know that what is healthy you right. know with the with the you know access to internet and stuff and you know you see all these videos coming in front of you you know they exactly know what is healthy and what is you know good for them it's just a matter of like how busy we are with our lives and how we have to take time and 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 you know the the bottom line is that your body is is what you have and you know if you're not looking after your body what's the point of you know and yeah, you, doing you whatever your you're body, doing you have to listen to your body you have mm. to look after it and everybody responds differently like everybody's got their own different metabolism everybody's got you know different sort of um way your body reacts to a certain product or a certain exercise or whatever you're doing it's just a matter of understanding it and then working upon it That's have you what... have you had to work with someone who's obese and you know had to bring them down to track yes yes, yes. you've done that's that that's like he was mentioning before mm-hmm. the guy um, was talking about the client which we, he had in the past yeah. who had a medical problem, problem. Yeah. yes and and we've had different different you know like females um uh, females, females well. we need to understand you know with um when you are in 20s it's easier for you to lose weight when you are in 30s it gets a bit more harder than every adding 5 years it, yeah. you know it it gets harder to lose weight um but when you are when you are committed to something you can do it with a little bit of exercise and proper diet you know go to the if you can't go to gym go out for a walk a 30 minute walk a day or you know three or four times um, in a week can help you right to do that mm-hmm. you know the diet and you know walk some kind of physical activities even if you are in the office you know try, if you're working out or you know just walk around in the office yeah. mm-hmm. you know try to as we say you know try to take stairs and the lifts if just you know you don't have to yeah go all the yeah. way there it's just a matter of you know getting you know do do something for yourself that's the whole idea i mean we've had a lot of newly born you know mothers and stuff who Mm. and 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 you know the first month they have done it and they come back and say look this is excellent you know i don't know about how healthy or you know how it's going to affect me but i'm happy that i'm doing something for myself because if they are feeding um yeah their they, dietary requirements they, they are just happy to do something for themselves the, it's just that their calorie count will be a bit higher right uh but at least i think uh, we we overdo it back in india like mm. you know we uh, we just make sure that they they get a lot more over yes, that's fine feeding. because once yeah. we get pregnant as well you know in india they'll say you are eating, eating for two for people, two people. <laughs> but here they'll eat you they here they will say you're eating for yourself 
Yeah. You eat as you feel. Yeah. Not just, you know, because you're thinking, oh, there's another life. <laughs> I, I have to eat more. It is not that. That's not the concept. Yeah, just consciously eat That's the it. right thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're hungry, eat something healthy. Eat, you know, we get uh, even, you know, when I, I was pregnant, I was munching on nuts. Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm, hang- I'm, I'm hungry because I tend to lose, uh, gain weight. What would be your, be your advice to, you know, someone out there, you know, if they're pregnant and what, what would they, you know, munch on rather than nuts? Um, Something look, I I was one of uh, I was I'm not because a fruit I'm person. I'm asking you because I love nuts. I'm not pregnant though. No, <laughs> I love I like nuts, but like I I was not I'm not into fruits a lot. Oh, like right. you know I, I would eat a banana because I'm a bit lazy. I would rather eat a banana quicker than you know peeling or eating the apple because I have to bite it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so I'm a bit lazy when it comes to that. But I used to, I I love salads, so mm. I would always you know boil chickpeas or you know add some chaat masala to it, a little bit yeah. of you know a lemon to Just it. Tone it up and yeah. yes, and I I would enjoy eating that even Put your when avocado in there yes, and you know I all used this to so eat these things. I think we do oh, we overdo the avocado as well you some, know we don't yeah. know how much of avocado to yeah, eat yeah cuz it's know, got fat as well yeah the, it, the calorie uh, yeah, that's that's right but it's healthy fat at the end of yeah. the day uh, but you half an avocado with your even if you're having an egg you know just mm. have two eggs and then have half an avocado with it uh, a slice of bread that's perfect breakfast you know you have mm-hmm. got protein carbs um, and fats, fats as well fats, good fats. everything in yeah. there yeah so i i l- used to eat that hmm. um and i got, i used to get craving as well i'm not, i don't have a sweet tooth mm-hmm. uh, but i used to crave for gulab jamun ooh mm-hmm. uh-huh. so i tried not to eating it you know late later in the day i would rather eat it like around 2ish talking about indian sweets does india uh, does fitness thadka he know, does protein kalakand we do we Ooh, do so exciting have, protein yeah. kalakand how so do you do protein kalakand <laughs> so just to keep it more healthy you know like we do it um with the cheese and you know like it's got um not too much preservatives in there natural sugar in there so i try to use you know jaggery or something which is much more natural i think indian sweets as such is pretty healthy because you we use a lot of chickpeas flour yes. and we yes. use yeah whether it's again hmm. if it's taken in a right proportion so one yeah. laddu one like a chickpea laddu yeah. he did, a day is fine he did, no uh, problems those, with that um, and good kala do as well and so then you know jaggery, uh, yeah. even the protein balls all are also sweet hmm. because they are made with dates and nuts yeah. so we do it with dates nuts coconut flour chia hmm. you know Excellent. all these flax seeds so they are very very healthy and then they are very filling as well hmm. so they are something you you know like you you want to munch in something and and mostly people end up some eating something really bad at that time because when you I got know, that when you, craving when you crave something. you know you something just don't yet. think about it and you just have it so we've got these things at that time you can just go and have one protein ball and that's it it's going to keep you filling for next you know couple especially of hours especially when you want to snack between you know breakfast or lunch or lunch or dinner so if you have protein balls and salads hmm. um you can mix and match whichever you feel How like about the number of beverages uh, that you know someone consumes throughout the day uh while following mm-hmm. a, a fitness tadka diet uh, do you actually restrict them from drinking you know so many cups of tea or coffee or No we we don't we don't um cuz i think there's a lot of calorie addition if, along if with the it look what we t- uh, tell them having one cup of uh, coffee would wouldn't harm if you're mm-hmm. having you know three or four cups of caffeine is anyways not healthy mm-hmm. um but try to reduce you know replace it with your green tea if you can eat have or green tea or a black tea or a green or tea. just with a pinch of but what about lemon? the sugar i think uh, more than the coffee or the tea i think, I think uh, that's the, 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 that's the, then you have a lot to of sugar reduce, <laughs> you have to reduce the amount of mm-hmm. caffeine you are having mm. like try to have once you know one cup I think of coffee it's, it's a sort of addiction and yeah. hard to overcome because what? then yeah. what happens with especially with us indians even if i'm having tea i want to have a biscuit with it oh <laughs> so i would try not to have a tea oh, so right. that's when i when i was trying to lose weight i mm. try not to have tea at all even when i have a coffee i have without sugar all oh, right so i try to control myself there because i i was not addicted to tea but after i got you know pregnant i would want to have a tea because i was hungry in the morning so i you know that's how i changed my lifestyle as well mm-hmm. um few changes here and there can make a lot of difference and try to, to replace it with as she said with green tea black tea there are a lot of natural you know teas outside as well like you yeah i think melbourne's the right place for it definitely or peppermint does, yeah. or mint or you know something mm-hmm. which you can chamomile, just chamomile or what not it calms you down it calms yeah. you so something you know that's still gonna 
uh, be you know you'll have it will sort out your craving and plus you're having again you're having something for your body you know good antioxidants in mm. there is again like i have a lot of warm water or you can just mm. have warm water just try mm. to have a lot of warm water first thing in the morning we just tell everyone that have a cup of warm water first thing in the morning you mm. know just to take out flush out all the you know yes. excess fat and stuff in, in your body yeah Few just things minor things here and there. It's just a looking thing. after yourself. That's the whole idea. You know, people go outside and they buy expensive clothes and you know watches and you know makeup and stuff. What about this? What you know, about what about self of yours? But people exactly. tell us your meals are. Uh, will it be expensive? Will it be? Uh, we can't be afforded. And I, I'm thinking, look, when you can go out and have a dinner, just for dinner you'll pay hundred dollars or you know more than absolutely. that, two hundred dollars. So you can ab- absolutely afford hundred or two hundred dollars for a week. Right, and you're and getting fifteen meals. Healthy, yeah. hmm. All right, um, sounds like I need to try out fitness that cover very Definitely. soon. You know, <laughs> uh, with with the holiday season and all the hogging that we've been doing during that okay. season. Yeah, and new promises for a new year. That's it. And uh, you know, this year is even more special because we're looking at a whole decade from here. Yes. So. um uh all the very best of fitness thank that you. Thank to you both thank you, thank uh, you. Thank and you yeah us. we'll see you thank again you. sometime thank sure. you thank you goodbye everyone hope you enjoyed this episode of the icon